Freddy incorrectly stated the origin of, God, of uh, Clover. Clover was a prehistoric beach, according prehistoric beach beast, according to J.J. Abrams, that was mutated from radiation from a Japanese testing drill. Okay, and also in the Cloverfield movie, Operation Hammerdown, which took place at approximately 0600, was a nuclear bomb by a stealth bomber that destroyed New York. Clover was bombed with a nuclear bomb. All right? I don't care how many times Freddy says it didn't happen. It <laughs> did happen. Operation Hammerdown, as stated in the Cloverfield movie, was the dropping of an atomic bomb on Clover that destroyed New York and left Clover standing. As Freddy stated, Clover is a baby. That is true. As to the fact that he's scared and roaming around, it doesn't matter. Clover faced the U.S. military with strength, and he tore them to shreds. The U.S. military, in less than six hours, was forced to drop the atomic bomb on Clover. Now, I don't know how many of you know this, but when we drop the atomic bomb, it's a last means resort. Especially when we're dropping it on New York. I mean, think about that. We clearly went through the amount of effort and strife to try and kill this monster that we had to drop an atomic bomb on New York, the largest city in America. What? Freddy is just shooting this down, alright? The dropping a bomb on New York would kill over six million people. That's almost a tenth of the population, oh, uh, that's almost a hundredth of the population in America. Clearly, we had to have tried. There were stealth bombers. At the end of the movie, there was bombing brigades that they tried to take the Cloverfield monster down. And he would not go down. As to what Freddy stated that the Clover monster is not really dangerous, he's just sad and confused. I don't know if you saw on the YouTube clip, but he, clip, but he looked pretty dangerous going down almost 300 feet to snatch up an innocent guy with a camera. That's not some innocent monster who's just scared. That's someone who's out for blood. In conclusion, Godzilla has no chance of defeating Clover. Godzilla lost to the U.S. military in 1954, and Clover won against the U.S. military in 2008. My opponent has admitted that it would be more difficult to fight the U.S. military in 2008 rather than 1954. So clearly, Clover's victory proves that he is stronger than Godzilla and able to defeat Godzilla. Clover also has some very hefty advantages coming into the fight. He is much quicker than Godzilla, and has arms that extend 50 feet. Sadly, Godzilla is entering a battle that he cannot win, and it is sure that this battle will only result in Godzilla's death. Thank you, and please, vote Clover.